Paul O'Grady bid farewell to his loyal listeners on Sunday afternoon, as he presented his final show on BBC Radio 2. The broadcaster, 67, took to the Radio 2 airwaves one last time earlier today, August 14, following his shock announcement he would be leaving his popular slot earlier this week and speculation surrounding his departure. Paul kicked off his final show playing Kylie Minogue's hit single, All the Lovers, before enjoying a catch-up with his producer Malcolm Prince, in which the pair discussed Paul's recent bad luck over recent weeks, including flat tires, a bout of COVID-19 and being impacted by floods. Speaking ahead of hosting his final show, Paul shared an emotional message with his followers and celebrity pals on Instagram, revealing that the reason he quit the station was due to the fact he wasn't really happy about sharing his Sunday slot. Can you hear those dogs barking? Honestly, I can't do anything, Paul begins in his video message to his 699,000 followers on Sunday afternoon. I just want to say that tonight is my very last show on Radio 2 after 14 years. I have never had a job for that long. So I want to say thank you very much for listening and for all your emails and all your messages and all the fun I've had over the years. And also a huge special mention to Malcolm Prince, my producer. And I've been really lucky in my time to have worked with some smashing producers, and Malcolm is way up there, believe you me. He goes on to address the reason he decided to bid farewell to Radio 2, saying, and the reason I'm leaving because everybody's asked me this. It's because I wasn't really happy with the 13 weeks on slash 13 weeks off business. So, I did the honorable thing and I honored my contract, gave my notice and now am off. Anyway, thanks very much and good luck to everyone on Radio 2 and long may you continue. Fans, followers and celebrities quickly flooded Paul's page with compliments and well wishes, with Carol Vaterman telling the veteran broadcaster, don't even think about retiring. Former EastEnders actress Cheryl Ferguson added, You did it our kid and you did it all with humor grace and kindness you will be missed but here's to whatever you want to do Paul cause you really are gold, love ya. Paul surprised fans when he shared his plans to quit his radio show on Tuesday, August 9, telling listeners he felt it was the right time to go. His departure is the latest in a string of changes to the BBC radio schedule, with several big names having been dropped from the broadcaster recently. In a statement shared on Tuesday, Paul said, I've loved doing my Sunday afternoon show for the last 14 years and am going to miss my listeners as well as the fun I've had with my producer Malcolm Prince, but I feel that now is the right time to go. The BBC added, We're sad to say that after 14 years on Sunday afternoons, Paul O'Grady has decided to leave Radio 2. We wish Paul the very best of luck and hope to work with him again in the future. Paul's departure comes following BBC Radio 2 announcing some huge changes to the schedule, with favourites including Craig Charles and Tony Blackburn losing their usual slots. The broadcaster's new look lineup, which sees Drag Race star Michelle Visage permanently joining the station, will air across Fridays to Sundays. Dr. Rangan Chatterjee's show, which is on Sundays 10 p.m. midnight, was also axed, alongside Animatronics Dance Devotion show. And last month, the BBC announced even more changes to the autumn schedule with bosses axing Steve White's afternoon show after 23 years, while Scott Mills will leave Radio 1 after having joined the station in 1998. Steve, 67, will bid farewell to Right in the Afternoon, which is broadcast each weekday from 2 to 5 p.m., at the end of September.
he will be replaced by Scott, 49, who will host a brand new show from 2 to 4 p.m., launching in the autumn. The broadcaster took home a lucrative £375,000, £379,999 last year, while Steve made a hefty £465,000, £469,999 when the salaries were released by the BBC. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at Web Celebs at Mirror. UK or call us direct at 0207 29